So how's it all going, Beverly? <laughs> well, this this part in here is easy. <laughs> it's the part outside that has me worried. <laughs> uh, the wind is up to 22 knots at the minute. Um, right, not display up a bit. It's uh, daylight now. Um, yeah, the wind's up to 22 knots at the minute, which is about five gusting on the six. Um, we don't really have brilliant shelter here. It's not bad. It certainly breaks the waves, but it's supposed to get worse than this. And then it wasn't supposed to get worse than this, and now it's sort of maybe, depending which forecast you believe, going to get worse than this. So I think what we're planning to do is rather than sit on tenter hooks here all day and wonder whether it is going to get worse or get better, I think we're just going to see about plucking the anchor up if we can and go around to Castle Bay. Maybe we can't, we don't know. But we're going to give it the good old college try and see how it works out. So I've, I've, I haven't got a passage plan for this one because we're only going four or five miles. And um, the pilotage has a fairly clear entry plan and um, directions and tides, so we're going to use it. It is high tide in about three hours time, so we're, we're at mid tide at the minute. Just have to wait and see how it works out. Beverly? Um, we had an issue with the anchor this morning. Um, it stopped, the wind has stopped working halfway through raising the anchor and I had to pull it up by hand. Um, so this is the clutch release for letting the clutch go so the the gypsy can spin normally. Um, that was seized but I've got it unseized now so that, that's okay. The control which is in here we need to test the control and basically what we need to see is power coming from the main relay which is just about here under the deck into the windlass or not and if it is coming into the windlass then the problem is in there if it's not coming into the windlass the problem is probably in the relay but that's what we need to check but everything just got dumped in here afterwards the, the snubber and its hook um, I've got in here also just a whack of anchor chain that I just pulled up by hand <laughs> And I didn't have time to feed it down the hose hole, so it's just lying here and I've got to feed it back in manually now just to put it away neat and tidy. So I'm going to do that before we start fiddling with the anchor and its electrics. But we just need to either solve this electrical problem. Uh, or my, at least manage to get it working manually. Or get it working manually. My gut feeling is the problem is between here and the relay because I can hear the relay click. So when I press this, I can hear the relay click under the that. deck. Uh, so that says to me that this is sending the instruction to the relay and the relay is knocking back and forward. If the relay's messed up inside, it won't be sending current out. We can test that with um, a multimeter. Um, but this is the thing that's forward the most. This is the bit that's covered in salt. It gets covered in water on a regular basis. I suspect there's probably a bad connection or a wire has corroded close to this unit and that would be my primary suspect. Yep. But I'm not the electrical engineer, she's holding the camera. Well, we've cleaned the cables as much as possible and we've tested it and it's still not working. So our plan now is, um, yes, Beverly says, if you're given lemons, make two lemonade. So what we're going to do, we're both going to make sure that we can drop the anchor and lift the anchor using the manual controls um and that will probably be our day so we're staying here on the pontoon tonight practicing in anchoring again tomorrow and then see where we go from there
but that's salty laughs. That's boating life. <laughs> and yeah, and we never know what we're going to do from one day to the next. God, the wind is terrible. I know, but let's... Um... What I normally do, or what I did yesterday... Okay. ...was I almost kept some on the gypsy. Yes, of course. Because that stops it all piling back over again. Right, okay. And I waited till the chain was vertical. Right, okie dokie. So I only have the chain to lift. Now, admittedly, the minute we've got the anchor to lift as well. <laughs> yes, we have. Okay. But all I did was just grab it, pull it back and feed it into the hose hole. See what I can do? Right, I'm with you. And then if I needed to stop, I put it on the gypsy and lowered it. Right, I'm with you. And then I can take a breather, or if you need to move the boat to take it onto the chain because the chain's over there. Yeah. I can leave it like this until you move the boat so the chain is vertical. Yes, I'm with you. And then it's a case of back to this and dropping it in. Right, okay, dokie. And now you can use the manual. Yeah. But it's because I'd slackened it. Yeah. Right, okay, dokie. And now I can at least pull that on because that's a heavy item, that. And the anchor is now on. Right, okay, dokie. Right, with you. Okay, let's. Right, so we're doing it again, okay? I've got to loosen that a touch. Because I've got it on tight. Yes, because you can't use the manual without it being on tight. Yeah, so there, it's just. Enough. Loose enough. So what I'm going to do is take a bit of chain, let that go forward, and it's quite clear now it's going to drop. Yes. And then as soon as you... So as soon as I do this, I just bring it back and as soon as it starts going, I stop. Yeah. Because just so that it doesn't go down too quick. Castle Bay, although Beverly and I still haven't decided why they've called it Castle Bay. Um, it's a lovely uh, little marina and it's been good uh, for us to um, train ourselves as to how we use our windlass uh, using manual control. Um, Castle Bay has been very good for a lot of things, hasn't it? There's, there's good supplies here. Oh, the shop is just around the corner, so, um, you know, I've stocked up on gluten-free supplies. There's a bank, there's a post office. Yeah, uh, it's really nice place. Um, so, yeah, we've, um, it has been very good to us. Uh, well, well, I came, um, I walked across uh, Battersea Island. I'd love to say it was a very long walk, but it was not. It's not that far between the two beaches, one on the Atlantic side and um, the one where we are uh, is a little bit more sheltered um, but even so it's still a little bit swelly uh, at the anchorage but um, oh the beach is just fantastic um, but um, there's just some strange things like apparently the cows just wander around on the beach and um, I saw a lot of burrows as well, so I suspect there's rabbits or something of that nature here on Battersea. But, oh, it's just such a lovely, just to be on a beach and just enjoy the sun while we can.
Well, Beverly and I are back in Castle Bay quite early. Uh, we lifted the anchor at Vattersea and I lifted the anchor because I wanted to be up front um, just to really see the anchor in operation. Um, plus, I always think, you know, you've got to do these things. Like Va Beverly had had to um, lift the anchor at our last um, place. Um, so I was determined to do it myself. Um, but it's clear that it's the gear oil. Um, so I'm here at uh, Castle Bay and uh, I've got managed to buy some gear oil. It is not the one specified um, by the um, winch, but it is gear oil and it is the same strength because um, uh, it's the gear oil recommended is SAE 90, whereas I've got an 8090 gear oil. So. I'm hoping that this will at least do us, um, do us. Um, but we clearly need to get the winch sorted um, because lifting it by hand is just hard work, let's be honest. So, um, but it's good to know what it is. It's good to know that we can do it. And I also think that uh, dropping the windlass um, using the, not using the electric would be better, as better for us anyway, because that will use less energy. And when you're living on a boat, using less energy is always a good thing.